Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Speed Force Media. My name is Eleanor. I hope you all are having a wonderful Monday afternoon. I'm sure, as most of you know, we did get a Flash trailer yesterday as well as one in the Super Bowl. There are two different trailers with slightly different footage. There are some things that overlap, but in both there are different scenes and different shots of the same scenes that are shown. So I'm going to give you my thoughts today on how I'm feeling about the Flash trailer, even with all the craziness that has gone on in DC for the last couple of years. I think that this is going to be good. So buckle up, let's get into it. To start out, I think Michael Keaton was honestly a highlight in this trailer. He looked great. He sounded great. I mean, honestly, in the cape and cowl, he didn't look any older to me than he did in the 90s. And I think that he's got still that intimidating presence, and that's going to be really good to see. And of course, he said, I am Batman. And that is an iconic line that we've always heard Michael Keaton say. He was kind of the one, I think, that started it. I could be wrong, but I remember that being kind of his thing. At least the way he says it, you know, that growly deep, I'm Batman. Because, of course, Adam West said it, but he kind of said it as, hello, I'm Batman, and it was completely different. So for the tone that they're going for, this is kind of exactly what Michael Keaton's Ballywick is. And so I'm excited to see him really jump back into it and really get back into the cape and cowl. Not only that, but we do have to talk about the other Batman that's in this film, which is Ben Affleck. And I think he looked good in this as well. But we did see him as Bruce Wayne talking to Ezra Miller's Barry Allen about why they would want to go back into the past and possibly change the future and the kind of ramifications that could come from that. And I think that it looks good. He looks like he's doing the part. I mean, I've never had a problem with Ben Affleck's Batman. I've always liked Ben Affleck's Batman. So for me, this was a win-win no matter what having him in it. But I'm excited to see him back and see what they do with the character. My theory, this isn't confirmed, but my theory is that he's going to come in maybe in the beginning of the movie and warn Barry not to do the thing. Barry's going to go ahead and do the damn thing. All the timeline's going to be changed. And we won't see Ben Affleck until the end of the movie if we see him again at all. But that's just my theory on it. I can't confirm or deny that. If you look closely in this trailer, there's a scene where... Two, it looks like two flashes come together, their heels touch, and then they push off one another. One has yellow lightning, one has blue lightning. If you look at the flash on the left-hand side that has the blue lightning, it appears to me to be the black flash. And this, of course, has been rumored in spills and leaks about this movie months ago. But I actually think we did get a look at Black Flash. I'm interested to see how they're going to tie him in and what his character's really going to be. Because, I mean, Derek and I kind of were talking about it earlier and we kind of had this theory that maybe it is the other Barry that our Barry we're familiar with runs into. Maybe gives him his power so they can go back and change everything and fix things and make it the way it was. And since this second timeline Barry, the Michael Keaton timeline Barry, wouldn't have the memory of losing his mom ever. He doesn't really have that motivation to do good, to avenge. So maybe, just maybe, his powers would go to his head and just make him a not-so-great person, possibly turning him into the Black Flash. But either way, he looks cool. There were some humorous moments in this trailer, but I didn't feel like it detracted from the mood of the film. Since the Flash is a kind of humorous character, especially Wally West's uh, iteration. And I've seen, you know, in recent years, especially in film and TV, they kind of take Barry and Wally's traits and intermingle them. So Barry acts more like Wally is a little bit more funny and humorous and cracks more jokes. So I think that with that tone and that kind of Barry going into this movie, that it fits well. And I'm hoping that they don't go over the top on humor, but from what I see in the trailer, it looks like it's a pretty damn serious film, but there are just moments that make it a little bit lighter. So I think that will be refreshing instead of it feeling kind of like, oh, it's going to suck the air out of the room. And that's what I'm really hoping for, that it's just going to feel refreshing and be at appropriate times and let the seriousness feel heavy and feel serious. So I'm excited to see that, hopefully. I would say that this trailer is one of the most successful trailers that DC has dropped in a very long time. I've, of course, I've gotten excited about movies, a lot of movies that they've 
dropped trailers for, but this one just feels bigger. It feels more epic. It feels like almost like a Marvel movie on scale. It feels like there's stakes in this one. It feels big, and I think it's going to be a good one. I'm starting, like, I was a little doubtful, but now I'm starting to see what all these DC executives are saying, and it looks like it's going to be a damn good movie just based upon these trailers. One thing I'm not going to lie about is I was really hesitant at first with Supergirl when I saw the way that she was going to look in this film. I'm like, she doesn't look like the traditional version of Supergirl who's, you know, usually in a skirt and a cape and flying around and all that stuff. So I was a little nervous, but this trailer has sold me. This Supergirl looks like she's going to be badass and tough. And if you've seen the original Flashpoint animated movie or read the comic, then you would know that in that original Flashpoint universe... They have a Superman that's locked up in a Red Sun room and makes him really weak. And it looks like to me in the trailer that Supergirl is going to be that foil for that character in this storyline. It's going to be, instead of Superman, it's going to be Supergirl. And I think it's going to work well with the minor changes they've taken to this Flashpoint story. Having Michael Keaton play as Bruce Wayne instead of Thomas Wayne. Having General Zod be the, our kind of big baddie against the Earth instead of it being Aquaman and Wonder Woman. I think it's going to be a pretty good change to have Supergirl in there. I think it's going to fit well. So I was excited. Since we mentioned Zod, we have to talk about Michael Shannon. Michael Shannon is an amazing Zod. He's my favorite Zod. So when I saw he was coming back, I was excited. And of course, seeing that he's back and ready to try to terraform the Earth into Krypton again... This is going to be almost like a Man of Steel Part 2 in a way, just not having the Man of Steel, unfortunately. But at least will give us some more storyline with Michael Shannon Zod, and I think he is a really intimidating villain, and so it's a good choice to put him in here. And as I said earlier, the Super Bowl commercial was different than the actual trailer. So the Super Bowl trailer was, I think, 55 seconds long, and... It had a very intense tone to it. The music was really intense. The scenes that were shown were really action-packed. There wasn't very much humor shown in that one at all. I don't even think there was a shot of humor. It seemed really dire and intense. And so I'm excited to see the movie because of that, too. Because if you see the Super Bowl trailer and you see this trailer together, you're like, okay, I'm really getting a taste of what this film's going to be. The lighthearted moments are going to be drawn back, so it's not super goofy, but it's just going to be lighthearted enough to feel like The Flash. Now that we've gone through all the things I'm really positive about, we're going to get into my concerns. I don't even think they're really negatives. They're just things I'm slightly concerned about. My major thing that I'm concerned about is villains, because the synopsis has only confirmed that we're getting Zod and the Kryptonians. I think Feora and a couple other Kryptonians are going to come in with Zod. We've seen in the trailer what I believe to be the Black Flash, but it hasn't been said in writing. No one's verbally confirmed that that is Black Flash, so I don't want to go ahead and say that that's who that is. It probably is, but I don't want to confirm that just in case I'm wrong. We've also heard in leaks that there might even be the reverse Flash. So I'm wondering, where does he play in? Where does the Black Flash play in with Zod? And how is this all going to unite and feel like one cohesive movie? I'm sure they've done a good job of doing that. I'm just not sure yet because I haven't seen it. So we'll have to see when this movie releases who's really going to be our big bads in this movie, who's going to end up being the person we root for, who do we root against. It's going to be a wild ride, I think. I think there's going to be a couple of twists. The CGI overall looks really good. You can tell they spent a lot of money on this movie, so that's good. And I'm concerned with CGI going into any film that has heavy amounts of CGI. I think most people are, and I think it's a realistic expectation to have. But it looks good from what I've seen in the trailer. The executives with this trailer did not shy away from using Ezra Miller's face either. We heard that they might not be in this trailer. You know, they're like, the, we heard rumors, oh, they, they might not use Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller might, you know, you only see the back of his head or something. But I'm glad that they didn't do that. That they didn't shy away from showing the Flash's face. Because if you set aside all of the stuff that has happened in the past, and it's not apologizing for it, not saying that it didn't happen, but just setting that aside for the movie's sake and being able to look at this 
person as, okay, this is Barry Allen, this is The Flash. This is not Ezra Miller in this moment. This is The Flash. And, you know, all this stuff was filmed by the time all the drama happened. So it doesn't, it's not going to change the way this movie is watched, for me at least. I think they did a really good job putting Ezra Miller in the trailer, using them to look like The Flash and their likeness. And I liked them a lot in Justice League as The Flash before I knew about all this drama. So I think that it's still going to be a good movie. I'm hoping the acting is superb because we have a lot of big names in this movie. And it looks like we have a lot of good actors, even the people I've never heard of. So I'm excited to see this, and I'm excited to see where it takes the DCU after that, how it resets everything. Especially with us getting Shazam beforehand, how is that all going to play in? We'll have to wait to see. Overall, it really exceeded my expectations. I tried to keep my expectations pretty low with this movie, especially hearing from DC executives that and Warner Brothers executives that this was one of the best movies they've ever made. It's on the level of The Dark Knight. I still don't know about that one, but I think it's still going to be a great film, and it's fair to say that it looks like one of the best ones they've ever made, judging by the trailer. So it far exceeded my expectations, and it's made me really excited to see this film. But those are just my thoughts. What are you guys feeling about the Flash trailer? Who are you most excited to see? And who do you think is going to be our main villain? Please let me know down in the comments. Also, like and subscribe if you're feeling fancy. It really does help us out. And thank you guys so much. We'll see you on Wednesday for our podcast, the Speed Force Media Podcast. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.